Hi guys, it's Hi. Michelle with Moxie Emotion and we're in my kitchen today and I have with me super awesome Lauren Fit DJ Aww. who is a BSN athlete and she's also a super popular, hardworking DJ. BSN has the most amazing protein powders, but they also have a line of supplements. What we're making today is a cookie, essentially. It's, or you can call it a protein bar, but it's a pumpkin-based one. I went with the vanilla just because I usually use vanilla if I'm using it in baking, because it's kind of just like a good base. Yeah. Yeah. So first of all, half a cup of coconut flour. Coconut flour would definitely add like a density to whatever it is you're cooking. So you wanna not go over the top with it. Um, it can get really dense really fast. So dump that in there. Then we're gonna do three quarters cup of the protein powder. Mmm, I love how it smells. It's, so it's like It's like um, vanilla cake batter. So now we're going to do a half a cup of flax seeds. Let's go ahead and add a half teaspoon of cinnamon in there. We're gonna do nutmeg, we're gonna do a half teaspoon of that. Nutmeg and clove are both really strong spices, so unless you know you love them, um, I would play with them before you add too much in. Another half teaspoon of that, and then I'm gonna throw the clove in there. I love nutmeg because it reminds me of um, Christmas and eggnog. That's what you put on the eggnog, right? Yes, yeah. and just a sprinkle of clove. There we go. We're gonna do three quarter cups of oats. So go ahead and just do one and a half of those. At the end, the batter should be pretty moist. You're gonna scoop it. It's not like cookie dough that you're gonna be able to grab with your hands. Oh, and baking soda, I totally forgot. We're gonna yep. put about a half teaspoon of that in. I love that baking soda. Baking soda, I got baking soda. How much? Half teaspoon. And just a pinch of salt. All right, four eggs are gonna go into here. I'm gonna scoop out a cup of pumpkin puree. Make sure it is not pumpkin pie filling. And this is actually a two-thirds cup, so I'm gonna just do a fatty portion. This is how good of a baker I am. That's my one cup measure. All right, we're gonna do two tablespoons of almond milk, and I'm just gonna kind of eyeball that. I've been doing this long enough, I got a good sense of portions. Um, stevia, anytime you cook with stevia, make it a little sweeter than you would think because once you bake it or once you cook it, it's not usually quite as sweet. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna say about three tablespoons, and if you wanna stick that spoon in there, stick it in the hole. Vanilla is the key. Like if I don't have vanilla in my home, I always put it in my pancakes, like yep. regular pancakes. How much? One tablespoon, that looks like a tablespoon, right? Sweet, all right, go ahead and stir that up. Yay, this is my favorite part, the mixing. So we have our dry ingredients here and our wet ingredients, and then we're just gonna marry them together. You wanna dump that in there? Yep. It literally smells like a uh, pumpkin pie too. Yeah, it smells yummy. It looks like squash soup. <laughs> it does. I always try to make really uh, easy baking recipes because I'm impatient and I mess shit up a lot <laughs> and I don't always measure thoroughly and do all the things you're not really supposed to do in baking. So I can assure you if you're following a recipe that I've given you, you probably cannot mess it up. <laughs> We're gonna spray it on here. If you wanted to and you didn't have all the ingredients, you could easily leave the oats and flaxseed out still super tasty. I just like the extra fiber, um, a little bit of the extra carbs, especially if I'm gonna eat them for breakfast, and I also like the texture with the extra in there. All right, so let's go ahead and just scoop those on there. You could even use your hands if you wanted and kind of form a little bar. Yeah, you can make them whatever shape you want. Looks like a little wiener. <laughs> I can make a little musical note. I just wanna tuck like a little play school child into it, like a bed. Aww. I guess we want to make them all kind of the same size roughly yes. so that they cook evenly. So we're just going to pop these three in the oven. Um, we'll put the rest of it on another uh, cookie sheet. And then I'm going to show you how to glaze these with some chocolate. Oh, yummy, yummy. Yum. All right, these are going in. Mm -mm -mm. Sweet, they're done. Mm. Actually, no, I baked these ones earlier. <laughs> These, you can see, they do not have the oats and flax seeds in them. I wanted to kind of do a recipe without those to see how they were, so you can taste those. And then this one here does have the oats and flax seeds in them. But what I'm gonna show you how to do now is to drizzle them with a little chocolate. So let's go to the stove. Mm, chocolate. So do you know what a double bane broiler is? No. 
essentially you can make one at home, which is take a pot, put some water in it. You're gonna put it on medium to high heat. So what we're doing here is we're gonna melt chocolate and we're gonna put an empty bowl on top of the pot with water in it. So these are just basic uh, chocolate chips that I bought at Whole Foods. Make sure you hold the bowl with a towel or a pot holder of some kind because it is hot, but also watch that you don't get it on the stove and catch your house on fire. Um, and you can see it's nice and melted. <laughs> All right, super easy. You could paint this on like frosting if you wanted, or if you wanna make it pretty, just sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. Oh, that does look pretty. You wanna try? Yeah. All right, this like is fun. hot. Good. You could it's, write something with chocolate on there. <laughs> All right, a little heart. I kind of painted mine. You you have the drizzling skills. I don't really have. All right, last one. All right, go ahead and pick that one up and give it a taste and tell me what you think. And I'm just gonna lick this chocolate so that my coaches can get really mad at me. Oh my god. They're good, so right? Good. They're super good. Mmm. Mmm mmm mmm. <laughs> I love pumpkin. It is seriously so yummy. Sweet. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Thanks for coming to visit, Lauren. Mm. Thank you for having me. And check her out on her YouTube <laughs> her what? YouTube channel, <laughs> Pimp and Iron. And check out PSN. I really love their products. Yay. Yay.